So this, this what I'm talking to you about today is the book Gung Ho. And in the book, the, the, one of the, one of the um, three animals that they observed in the book was the squirrels. So the department head, who was an expert at getting teams to perform, uh, took the new manager out and to the woods, and they went to a cabin and had they observed squirrels. Now the department head felt went to sleep purposely, I believe, and had the new manager observe the squirrels as they as they came out. And what this manager observed was that um, when the squirrels were working. They had like a very consistent pattern that they were working. They were they would come to the yard, they would grab something, <clears throat> they would take it back to wherever their nest was or their where they were um, what they were building. Then they would come back. He said it was like a constant rotation. You could you could almost count the the minutes that were going uh, consistent amount of time that was uh, in between, and they were just consistently working and working and working. So here's some of the points that I underlined in the book uh, when they were talking about the spirit of the squirrel. So these are the reasons why um, this is what they learned from the spirit of the squirrel. First of all, uh, the team must have a goal. So for example, uh, the squirrels, although they don't tell each other what the goal is, they know what the goal is. The goal is that they have to gather because if they don't gather and they don't, they don't, they don't work. They know that in the winter time they will starve or they won't have a place to live. So they have a they have a goal and they're all working towards that goal. Okay, the goal number two, the goal must be worthwhile. So if we talk about the squirrels, gathering is worthwhile because if they don't gather, then they die in the winter time. So the goal must be worthwhile. It must have meaning. Um, the work must be understood as important. So whenever you're dealing with a team, the work that they're doing, the work must be must be known as important. It, people must know how their work affects the rest of the world. For example, if, if I'm a if I'm a cafeteria uh, worker working in a cafeteria in a school, I must know that because of my work, kids are go back to class and they and they won't be hungry. And if they're not hungry, they will learn. They they have an opportunity to learn because they're not worried about how hungry they are. So even though I'm not really educating the kids. My work is worthwhile because it's affecting the rest of the world. Um, the goal must be shared. Everybody involved must share the same goal. It must be a shared goal. Um, it says values. They talked about values in the chapter. Value must guide all actions, plans, decisions. So any plans that a team comes up with, any decisions that are made, any actions have to be guided by values. People must see their work it says people must see how their work uh, has meaning to the world, which I spoke about earlier. Um, we must have result goals. Th these are goals that tell us where we want to be. We must have value goals. These are goals that tell us what impact we want to have in the world. Uh, the author talks about how values can't be compromised, no matter if it doesn't feel good. So once we once once we talk about our values and we set the values. They can't be compromised, even if they don't feel good. Things may not feel comfortable. We can't compromise the values. Okay, everyone should be allowed to contribute to the best of their ability. They talk about some people being very high performers and some people only going to commit to so much. It says don't punish those people or don't kick them out because they only want to give so much or they're only capable of doing so much. Let them have the dignity of working to the best of their ability. Um, it says values in any organization become real based on the leader's actions. So if we have values, but the leader doesn't in his actions or his or her actions doesn't show that these values are serious, then people just throw the values out the window. OK, goals are set. It says goals are set. Values are lived. So goals, something we can like write on the board and everybody sees, hey, we're going to achieve this by next month. Values are lived. Those are action. We act. Those are things we act upon. Um, you have to, we have to tell people how they'll benefit. How are you going to benefit from doing this? You know, if we, if we, uh, if we do this, what's the benefit from, for myself? Tell the truth. It says that, uh, a manager or someone that's in charge has to tell the truth to people. Uh, tell them the real situation that's going on. So they'll know, they'll know the, uh, the seriousness of, of what's going on. And it talks about how information has to belong to everyone. Okay, don't keep secrets from people. Um, be transparent. So this was, uh, there, these are some things that I learned 
uh, while reading about the spirit of the squirrel. And these are some things that exist within squirrel, within squirrels. And this is what they do to, um, to succeed.